Und er hat einfach so eine natürliche Klasse. Da kommen wir eben niemals hin. Da können wir trainieren, wie wir wollen. Ja. Und wir trainieren ja auch gut. Wir sind bestimmt zwei Räufer, ne? wir sind bestimmt äh, echt trainingsfleißig und machen für den Sport eigentlich alle und leben dafür. Aber da, wo eben bei uns das irgendwo aufhört, gerade jetzt in Bergen, da fängt es bei Ulle an. Ja? Er hat einfach so eine Natur hier gegebene Gottesgabe. Ja. Die haben, die hat er, die hat, die hat Armstrong, ja. Und vielleicht noch zwei, drei andere. Und eigentlich ist es jetzt schön mit anzusehen, dass er das wieder für sich entdeckt hat. Well, this is the course he'll have to win over if he's going to do it. 47 hilly kilometers from Gaillac to Cap de Couvert. Very difficult racing conditions for all of the bike riders in the Tour de France this afternoon. In the latter part of the afternoon, we are expecting temperatures to go as high as 35 degrees Celsius. I think so a scheiße and noch gegenwind, ja? Hinten nachher im Tal dachte ich, das wird besser. Aber dieser raue Asphalt und alles, ey. Immer ein Stück der Avala Asphalt. Immer bin ich schön gerollt, der Jinkel. Und dann wieder rum und eine Kurve, baum wieder in die City. Das sind die Dinger, ey, die Nerven kosten und die, die, die Körner den Saft aus den Knochen ziehen. Bitte. Kann ich ein bisschen? Ja, bisschen mach ich mach das ein bisschen frisch. Du machst gegen so einen Ruf, nein? Nee. Das Auto fährt mit Doktor für, er fährt gleich zurück. Ich kann mir gedacht, ich werde verrückt, ey. Immer wenn, wenn ich mal auf Tempo war, komm wieder rüber über die Kuppe, hast du da aus dem Sattel rüber geschwungen, runter. Kommt die nächste Welle. Achtung, meine Hand in. Ja, ja, das war auch so immer, wenn ich mal 50 hatte. 52, 53, denke ich, ja, ja, ja. Rinne eine Welle. Wieder 38. Soll ich dir was sagen? Ja. Das war heute das erste Ding. Das erste Zeitfahren seit damals, wo, wo Bjarne. Das hat er geworfen hat. Die, nee, wo Bjarne die Tour gewonnen hat. Da, äh, Sören, Lüttich. Dass ich Schiss hatte, dass ich aus der Zeit fliehe. Im Zeitplan. Im Ernst? Ja, ich hab immer, ich hab, bin dann nur noch auf, auf äh, Durchschnitt gefahren, ja, auf kmh. Ich hatte 42 zwischendurch. Ich hier oben. Die Hose bläst du so an, ja? Oder bist du die? Ja, das ist ganz Ey, 42er Schnitt. Weißt du, wie schlecht das ist? This is the time that I think everybody wants to see, Phil. The time of Jan Ulrich. He's had a very quiet Tour de France so far, and he's still well up in the overall classification. I don't think anybody would have expected him to be sixth after the mountains. Well, we keep saying it, but this is his biggest test of the Tour so far. The comeback man. We think he's got good form. He hasn't attempted to attack Lance yet. He's done what Lance Armstrong has done. Let's let the others attack and stay with them as best as possible. Now, Ulrich is just over two minutes behind the leader, Lance Armstrong. He lies in sixth place in the race. If he can ride a time trial like he used to do, then I reckon Jan Ulrich is going to be right up there for a podium finish in Paris. And he's never finished worse in a Tour de France than second in the race. So I really think Jan will be proud now. This. Ulrich is about to catch the man who started in front of him and the man who started in front of him was no other than Ivan Bassa. Now watch the difference in the speed. I wouldn't know it. I was half, I was a bit worried there. I thought he was going to try and go up the inside as he catches Basso. Basso was 11th overall in the Tour de France last year and Jan Ulrich has 
caught him after 20 kilometers of racing. He's taken back one minute for every 10 kilometers. That's quite remarkable. We've got a situation right now where Armstrong and Ulrich have gone through the first time check of the day in exactly the same time. But I think the surprising thing is the climbers, Vinokurov and Zibeldia, are pretty close to the man Lance Armstrong and Ulrich at the top of the leaderboard. Jan Ulrich, you know, he could be climbing up to second place overall in the race today. He's picking up riders and they're falling like flies ahead of him. Jan Ulrich has caught Ivan Basso and I think Roberto Heras is probably the rider in front of him at the moment. And Mr. Jan Ulrich right now has just blown by Roberto Heras. Roberto Heras wearing number two there started four minutes ahead of the German. Jan Ulrich is definitely back. He's had a hard time trying to get psychologically prepared for the Tour de Franceville because the team that he joined at the start of the season, Team Coast, were on and off the UCI, the international governing body's roster, several times because they couldn't prove the financial viability of the team. This team that he's riding for right now, Team Bianchi, was only put together one month before the Tour. Yes, and he's never seemed to lose his confidence in his preparation, despite he knew that behind everybody was uh, changing their attitudes to whether the team was in or the team without. Here is Ulrich now heading up to the turn, to the turn, to the check at 33 and a half kilometers. Zubeldia has set the best time here at the moment of 42 minutes and 20 seconds. Yeah, but Jan Ulrich was 26 seconds faster him at the first time check, just 13 kilometers into the race. Ulrich started a minute 59 seconds behind Vinokurov in second place and two minutes 10 seconds behind Lance Armstrong. And look at this as he comes up there, the time to beat is 42. 20. Yeah, unbelievable! This is an incredible performance by, I beg your pardon, Jan Ulrich has eaten him and he goes through with a new standard set there for 40-28. Unbelievable ride there for Jan Ulrich. Lance Armstrong is losing to Jan Ulrich as he comes through the checkpoint here at 33 and a half kilometers. Armstrong is going to go through in second best time for sure. Now, how wise was he, Paul, to get rid of Ulrich on Alp Duez? Because it's gonna, it could mean the difference today between seeing his yellow jersey go to the German and not. Armstrong coming up to the line, the time of Yunukurov is 41.30. Lance is gonna beat that, 41.08. 48.8 kilometers an hour he's lost 39 seconds over Jan Ulrich at the moment and we discussed the tactics on the day to the Alpe d'Huez when Armstrong used his team to take up the pace on the slopes of the Col du Galibier and then accelerated rapidly at the start of the Alpe d'Huez the reason was one to get rid of this man this was the man he's feared more than anybody else in the Tour de France Jan Ulrich is an unbelievable individual time trial Ulrich is digging so deep right now. This is a very vicious position he has as well. He's got his hands right down in the front of his machine. They're getting as low as possible. This man came up through the East German cycling school in Eastern Berlin. And then once the walls came down, he has turned out to be one of the best cyclists Germany has ever had to offer. And we must never forget that this man has never finished lower than second overall in the Tour de France. And of course, one of those occasions was a team victory as well. This is the big finish now of Jan Ulrich and now have we got a man who can take on Lance Armstrong in the Pyrenees? He's certainly done it in the time trial. This is an absolutely incredible ride. We have ridden 47 kilometers, almost 30 miles and over terrain that you really wouldn't ride without getting out of the saddle. And this man is going to break the hour. Jan Ulrich comes to the line inside one hour for 47 kilometers. Look at his face. This has been a special day out for Jan Ulrich. He's won four time trial stages of the Tour de France in his career. This could be his fifth. Ulrich drives up the straight here now. He's going to beat the hour. 58, 32.92. Now, Lance, it's all up to you. 
48.18 kilometers an hour. He didn't finish inside the hour. He smashed it inside the hour. A minute and a half inside the one hour. And a huge beating of Heimar Zubelia. Two minutes, 39 seconds into the second place rider. And the man who led from the start, Uwe Peschel, was looking like a man likely to win, is three minutes, 25 seconds down at 47 kilometers covered. Ian Ulrich, 58 minutes, 32 seconds. Ich habe mal gesagt, er kommt wieder. Keine Frage, wenn er am Kopf klar ist, dann läuft das. Ich wäre scheiße, seinen Kopf gerade gerückt zu haben und dann ist das okay. He will have already calculated, he has to finish inside of one hour and 42 seconds to keep the yellow jersey on his shoulders. He started the day two minutes and 10 seconds ahead of Jan Ulrich in the overall classification, but he now knows the man he feared to be his greatest challenger is back at the top. What a great ride and what a great return to the top by Jan Ulrich. Armstrong has gone through there, Phil, and a remarkable time gap already. He's one minute and nine seconds behind Jan Ulrich at 41 and a half kilometers covered. Well, we better start looking at the overall situation now because let us not forget that Jan Ulrich was two minutes and ten seconds behind and Lance Armstrong has now lost a minute and nine. It's going to be very, very close. Nobody has broken the hour except Jan Ulrich for the ride today. Armstrong has made a race of this. It's been a huge struggle for him. One hour and eight seconds as Lance Armstrong crosses the line. He will keep his leader's yellow jersey, but he is yet again reminded he is in the toughest scrap of any Tour de France he has ever won. Not to mention the most exciting that many of us have ever seen. Only Lance Armstrong's second defeat in eight long time trials. The other was by 11 seconds. Today, Jan Ulrich was a minute 36 faster than the defending champion, with Alexander Vinokurov turning in a brilliant ride himself to place third, ahead of Imar's Ubel Dia, Tyler Hamilton, the early leader Uwe Peschel, and David Miller. Well, he's beaten Armstrong to the first stage win of this year's tour. Can he use that as a springboard to beat him overall? Afterwards, Jan Ulrich was weighing his words. Ah, ein Sieg, ein Sieg ist immer gut und uh, ich bin hergekommen, um um eine gute Tour zu fahren und jetzt habe ich meinen Etappensieg und uh, ich habe im Zeitfahren noch nie in Lenz Armstrong geschlagen bei der Tour und jetzt in meinem Comeback Jahr, wo ich eigentlich uh, als Vorbereitung machen wollte für nächstes Jahr, gelingt es mir und uh, das war einfach, also ich bin sprachlos. Morgen fangen die Pyrenäen an. Ich denke mal, Pyrenäen sind uh, ist, ist das Highlight der, der Tour, weil es einfach so schwer ist. Vier, vier Tage ganz schwer. Und äh, jetzt genieße ich erstmal heute. Denk noch gar nicht an morgen, weil ja, es ist alles möglich. Dieses Jahr ist alles möglich. So here's what today has done to the overall standings. Ulrich up into second place, 34 seconds behind Armstrong. Vinokurov fighting his bike to the finish to limit his losses, 51 seconds down. Lance Armstrong's chief concern, though, will be the German in second place. Here he is with Ned. With the GC looking the way it is now, do you feel the need now to attack Ulrich in the mountains? Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, it depends on how, how I feel and how he looks and uh, how the race goes. Okay. Was it a bit of surprise that perhaps he uh, performed so well on the time trial? Um, no, I mean, Jan's a specialist for that and uh, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't surprise anybody that he won. I mean, maybe, maybe surprise uh, the, the time difference. Jan avec le maillot jaune. Arrête. <rire> Qu'est-ce qu'on fait pas pour notre ami Julien On va montrer ça sur le voiture de main. Hey Wow, that's his stall. That's his stall. Hein Habt ihr Kept nicht Von Chef Natürlich. Und ich halte den Daumen für Jan. Oh, fantastic. He has pulled off one of the greatest time trials he's ever, ever done. 